Okay, sorry you guys. The audio really got messed up. I have no idea what's wrong with my computer. It like randomly would like pause my video in the middle while I was recording it and the screen was like glitching out, just acting really strange. But yeah, apparently it ended up messing up the audio for this video. I'm having the same problem with some videos that I posted on Patreon. I will be getting a new camera and finally a new microphone as well. So those things won't be here for maybe about a month or two. I'm having my stuff sent from the US. So yeah, I just want to explain, you probably don't want to use headphones for this video because it will glitch out and be staticky at times and I will have to cut the video at times to do little breaks like this right now to explain what I was trying to say because I just got budgeted so badly that you couldn't follow along. Long story short, F-Boy tried to trick me, I exposed their tactics, talk about, you know, the usual, my journals. Anyway, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It's only 5 USD per month. You get access to over 100 videos there if you want to know more about this. And as always, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Comic95. That's it. Let's watch the video. Just explaining. Yes, I know the audio, choppy, whatever. Deal with it. I'm poor people. I'm doing what I can, okay? Hey, what's up? This is Comic95, the savior. I'm eating my breakfast lunch right now. My brunch, if you will. Y'all, I hesitated to make this video because... The person who, I made, who I'm making this about, don't know who they are. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to call you. We're not even gonna give you a name. <laughs> I'm sorry for being ghetto and eating, but we got a multitask here, people. I'm busy today. So I have a Tinder account. And I want to explain some background on dating apps before I get into my story because I know that this is gonna have both girls and guys feeling some way, like how it has in the past. I've already given my stance on it before and I also gave Tinder stance too. Tinder does not allow you to have sexualized photos, videos, or bios. Do you hear that? Or bios. Nor can you send sexually suggestive messages. Wow. Tinder specifically asks for you to report inappropriate messages. And on their list of inappropriate messages to report, what is one of the options? This message contains sexual content. And by content, I don't mean photos, because Tinder doesn't allow you to send photos or anything. They're referring to your words. If they don't allow you to have pictures that are too sexy, videos that are too sexy, bios that are too sexy, you cannot allude to wanting sex and or financial exchange from being on the app. How exactly is this a hookup app? They don't even want you to leave the app, because they really tell you that you're not supposed to list any of your social media stuff inside your bio either. Of course, people do that part anyway. But okay. Tinder did not start itself off. It still is not to this day. They have not caved into it for being a hookup app. But as with any dating app, as I've said before, men turn everything into that. Paris is the most serious dating app here in Japan. Do you know that still the majority of people on that app are F-boys and looking for quick, easy sex? In fact, I wouldn't even say quick and easy. They're smart. They're guys that know you will get better quality women with less mileage for the most part that are looking for marriage. All you got to do is say, I'm looking for my future wife. I want to get married tomorrow. And girls will fly to you. Put that in your bio. Every girl going to be on your dick. Smart men that don't understand karma, they do that crap to manipulate you. I've literally matched people and been talking to them and two seconds into it, let's get married. Okay, sorry about that. Apparently my computer mic is having some problems or like glitched out and it might happen again later on in this video. So anyway, yeah, like they'll say all this crazy stuff to you like, oh my God, I love you so much. I want to marry you, you know, in a couple of days. We're going to have such beautiful kids, blah, blah, blah. You know, anything just to get your pants off, basically. You are an ugly to average looking man or a rich one and you realize there are better looking women less mileage on their pussy, younger, all in one spot here. You guys have to pay money for it, but it's worth it to these men. So my point in saying all of this, because I can go on forever talking about it, 
is that it doesn't matter which app you use or where you go, whether you meet these people in person, at a club bar, whatever, men will ruin it because they're thinking with their dick they don't give two fucks about long-term relationships and or marriage until they start looking for a caregiver, someone to push out grandbabies for their mama. That's unfortunately how most men work. We get it, you unicorn. Good guys can be exception to the rule. But most guys aren't like that. However, just because people choose to use something a certain way or treat something a certain way doesn't make it a certain way. As a woman, you can use yourself. It don't matter if you dress like a hoe. If you're not outside selling your body, are you a hoe? If you're not sleeping around with everybody, are you a hoe? It don't matter what you look like. Put on a white robe and, uh, you know, whatever. Walk around. Pretending like I'm a doctor. Does it suddenly make me a doctor because now I look like one? I'm acting like one? I understand it'll mislead people, make them think you are. But does it make you one? No. Okay. Same thing goes for Tinder. Tinder cannot help the fact that people choose to use the app for the purpose of hooking up and having casual sex. That's beyond their reach and out of their control. If people choose to misuse and abuse the app and use it to casually have sex instead of looking for something real, they can't control that. That doesn't make Pairs a bad app. We understand that Pairs is for serious dating. So why does Tinder not get a pass? That app. The reality is, to this day, there is no app with more users and better looking users on top of that, even if I were to judge both individually. Tinder has the most users on the app. On top of that, they also have the most attractive users. That's subjective, but hey, it's, it's facts. Every age range, every height, every nationality, every race, they win all the way around. And individually, if you were to just say based off of the number of users, Tinder wins. Just say based off of looks, Tinder wins. But they have both of those things to combine. I have dated people seriously from the app. Everybody on the app is not full of crap. Everyone is not a catfish, a scam artist, a date arpist. So please just keep that in mind. Now, aside from that, my issue is anytime that somebody comes to you from these apps, the excuse that I see both women and men make, especially the person that's at fault in these situations, they try to blame you. If you don't want somebody to are you, you don't want somebody to talk to you or just use you for sex then don't use this app or don't use online dating apps period please find me an app where there are no issues of f boys on there please find it for me please show me because it ain't pairs and it ain't tender it ain't okay cupid it ain't bumble it ain't none of the apps you can name because all of them all of them have the exact same problem in fact tinder probably has the most security out of all the apps because they remove their users quickly they don't give you all that time. And when they remove you, it's permanent. You got to go get a new SIM card, new cell phone, use a different computer, all type of crap you have to go through. When your account is deleted, it's gone. Okay, Cuba, delete your account. You just sign up, make another one. Bumble, delete it. Sign up, make another one. Use different Facebook. Easy. Tinder don't allow that. So, uh, really makes me mad and people like, don't get that. And so it's like people being bad and misusing the app for a different purpose it hasn't changed the purpose in the app overall. But let me get off of that part. Let's get into the video. We are almost wasted like 10 minutes trying to explain it to you. But I had to say because I know some Captain Obvious people are going to be like, well, why are you using the app? You shouldn't be using it if that's not what you're looking for. Because that's not the purpose in it. And sorry, I don't think the app is made for you to instantly message somebody sex. Fuck me. Can I have anal with you? Can I stick my dick down your throat? Is that what I signed up for? No, it's not. But you don't blame and judge men for saying that, do you? No. Would men be okay if girls are making videos saying that they got on the app to get men to pay to sleep with them? You would totally understand where the app does it say, meet the most beautiful bitches in the world, just $400 for two hours. Would you say that that's okay? No. You would see it as problematic. You'd be like, they didn't sign up for this. They signed up to meet pretty girls. Not to pay to meet them. That's a different story. So anyway... My problem is, guys love to ask you the infamous question. 
What's your purpose for using Tinder? Why are you here? What are you looking for? It's always a useless question. Because you're never, as a man, unless you're a really good guy, you are never going to directly, bluntly, just straight out say, my goal is to strain your pants. I want you to suck my dick. I'm not going to eat your pussy. I'm not going to make you come. I just want to get off. And then I'm going to leave you and I'm never going to contact you again. Do not text my phone. I'm going to delete this fake line that I made just for you. You're not going to get that. What he's going to say is one of two things. Either one, he's going to let his dogness out and just be blown. you be like, look, look, I ain't going to waste your time. Look, I'm a dog, bitch. Fuck me. You know, some dudes that'll say that. But most of them, they'll be smart. They'll ask you what you're looking for so they can pretend to be whatever it is that you're looking for. So if you say I'm on the app looking for a boyfriend husband, oh, you're so beautiful. I can't believe you don't already have one. I want to be your boyfriend. I hope that you will date me. They might even take you out for a nice meal after you say that. But now all you did was you've told him what your combination is for the lock being your pussy. Now he knows. Pretend like I want to be her boyfriend. Pretend like I want to be her husband. And now I get to have sex with her. And then I can leave her later. I've fallen for that before when I was younger. Fell for it when I was 21. It hurts. It happens. You got to learn. It pisses me off. So that's just one example of it. But then, let's kind of go back to what I'm talking about. My, my little story here. More recently. So this guy comes from Tinder. I have all my messages are set up that you automatically go into my spam folder. Unless I am following you. If you message me. Unless I pull your message out. It goes to spam. Need some coffee, people. I go through my spam inbox every once in a while. Generally try to do it weekly, if not daily. Or say every few days, I probably do. Normal Japanese people that end up inside of spam is very obvious profiles. Their profiles on private, no profile picture. I'm not digging through all that crap. I'm not following you. And this guy kind of fits some of that bill. Wasn't following me. But I went to his account. And I saw, oh, he's a blogger too. Oh, and he speaks English. And so the first thing that crossed my mind was, I can collaborate with this person. I would consider it. And I'm not someone to do collabs. My channel is not big, but his is smaller than mine. I was 90% sure that he wasn't contacting me at the time for romantic reasons. I saw it as him saying, oh, this is an opportunity to have someone to make videos with. I had this happen before in Osaka, and I I replied at first, but then, like, they started replying slow, so I was like, eh, fuck it, not gonna bother me. And I kind of got this feel from this guy. I can be honest and admit, I thought he was a little bit cute, but then I saw some other pictures, I was like, eh, maybe he's not that cute, he's alright. But I was like, let me stop thinking of him in a romantic way, just to let his friends. And the other thing that, like, confirmed that was, I asked him early on with us talking, exchanging messages, why did you message me? And his excuse was, oh, like, you know, basically I wanted to be your friend. And he kind of threw in that I was also attractive. Okay. So he asked me if he could meet me and, you know, if we can go to a cafe. I don't care if you're my friend, if you're trying to fuck me. I normally turn down cafes. This is on my channel a million times. Cafes, bars. Because it instantly brings up a red flag to me. It says to me, you are trying to spend as little money else as possible. Get straight to the point. And you're more than likely going to try to have sex with me. And I tried to take a step back. I was like... Don't be fooling yourself. You're wrong. Sometimes people just want to go to... I mean, he's trying to talk to you as a friend. Like, he ain't got to pay for a whole meal for you or whatever. It's like, okay. Whatever. Fuck it. I'll let him get away with it. Should have trusted my gut. Because I was right. As always. I, I know how guys are. I, I literally... I kind of get mad at myself at times. Because I'm like... I'm too smart for my own good. This sounds like cocky or whatever, but I'm being real. I literally have the entire F-boy strategy game figured the f out. And it's exactly why I'm single right now. Because I'm not dumb anymore. If I knew the stuff that I knew now, 
I'll be honest, and I'm sorry to hurt my ex's feelings if he's watching this, I would have never dated him. From the whole beginning of our relationship to the first time that I caught him up in some lies, I had every excuse to walk away, and I did not. He treated me well for the most part. He was a nice and good guy. I'm not taking those things back from him. I will stand by my word. I'm not just angry and bitter and lying on his ass now. But there were some red flags and I ignored them because I loved him and I was 21 and dumb. Okay? That's just facts. But I literally was seeing red flags dude, and I was like, it's a friend. Don't worry about it. This is going to help you. It's a collaboration. Get Japanese input. Don't worry about it, girl. Well, he gonna see this too. Yep, I'm talking about you. You're right. I made the plan for Friday night. And I chose 7 o'clock. And the reason why I chose that time is I get off work at 4. I normally arrive home at about 4.55, 5 o'clock. I work about an hour away from Shibuya. And that's if I leave out right on time. That gives me no time to stay late. You know, I have to work on Friday. And on top of that, it doesn't leave any room for me to go home and freshen up, to change my clothes from work, nothing. It means I have to leave straight out in order to meet somebody at 6 o'clock or 5.30. So I wanted to give myself the extra time. So I have time from going through my little emotional crap. I'm like, eh, I don't feel like meeting anybody. I'm tired. I want to sleep. I have a couple of hours now before I have to actually meet you. Also, rush hour, while still going on, is significantly decreased. Shibuya Station, not Shibuya, Shinjuku Station, which is where normally people at, is very busy between the hours of about 5 to 7 p.m. And at 7 p.m., dies down. I'd even argue 6 to 6.45 is the worst time at that station. I prefer to meet 7 or after on weekdays, but it's the weekend. So Friday night's not normally as bad because everybody's going to different locations, getting drunk, drinking, partying, dating, whatever, clubbing, doing anything. So, oh man, speaking of which, I want to go to a club so bad. I want to go to a club. I need some friends. Right, back on subject. <laughs> some female friends, I should add. I can't even imagine. What is it like going to a club now during a pandemic? But back on subject. Because I've got to wear masks and crap. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So I chose Friday because also for me as a black working person, I do not want to have to think about time. This is Japan. I'm using public transportation. I have work the next day on weekdays. Also, as I said before, weekday dates, week weekday meetings generally mean that either the person you're talking to, they're married, have a girlfriend, they're cheating, or they're not serious about you. Because if they were, they'd want to see you on the weekend. Weekday dates are good when you're in an actual relationship. And it shows that your partner wants to see you, not just wait till the end of the week. You're not a chore. You're not a dog that they have to feed at this time. You're their girlfriend. You're their wife. You're important to them. Then that becomes fine if they're doing a mixture of both. But first meeting on a weekday? I've never had a good experience with that. And I was right. So not just for, you know the purpose of dating, but my own time. I don't care if you were a girl and we were friends. I'm straight, might I add. I do not want to see you on a weekday after work because it makes me have to rush. I care about time more. If we're meeting at 7 o'clock, that gives me just really one hour because I'm, I'm normally in bed by like 8 or 9 o'clock on a weekday because I wake up at 3.30 a.m. I do not want to stay out with you till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night when I don't have to. And unless a date just completely bombs, your date should last for at least a few hours. Even if you're meeting someone as a friend. To me, it's a waste of time. I'm going to meet you for just an hour. Like, I could just wait till the weekend and when I have other plans later on in that day. I don't like to waste my time doing hair and makeup. If I'm meeting you for the first time, I'm normally going to try to put in some effort with my hair and makeup. Because I look good. I don't care if you're my friend or not. I don't like doing a bunch of extra crap on a weekday. Especially when I probably wasn't going to wear makeup to work anywhere. I wasn't going to care about my hair anywhere because I'm just working with kids. I would rather wait until the weekend. So this way after I meet you as a friend for a little coffee date at some cheap ass coffee place. I now have a date for that evening. Kill two, three, four birds and one stone. I did it during the summertime. I talked about it on Patreon. I don't have time to be playing games with people. So yeah, that was my reasoning for it. 
well, person didn't complain about it, understood. They asked me, you know, what, what daytime would have worked for me. So I told them. We agreed to it. Everything was all good. So we started talking on Sunday this week. It is now Friday right now. Today was the day we were supposed to hang out this evening. So, yeah, we he starts sending me messages, like, pretty much every day, just checking in, saying, hey, how are you? What are you doing? Commenting on stuff. And so, like, he wouldn't follow me on Instagram. He wouldn't like any of my pictures. He liked one video. But, wouldn't follow me, wouldn't comment on anything, but it was very obvious that he went lurking based off of what he was saying. He knew about my YouTube channel. He knew about my OnlyFans. He knew about, you know, my, my social media presence. So it's like, I hate when people do crap with that. Another red flag for me, too. If you're a man and you don't have the balls, you're the one who came after me. Okay, you had interest in me. You can't follow me. You can't like my stuff. You can't leave comments, but then you can tell me about what you saw that you liked about it and trust you. Yeah, immediately. Oh, I already know this. I literally was second guessing myself when I was wrong. <laughs> so anyway, he messages me almost every day asking me random little questions. So I was like, you know, let me play the same game, too. Seems like he's probably a nice guy. He hasn't hinted to anything sexual. I didn't like the cafe thing, but whatever. F it. If you're just trying to talk and collab, then fine. I can understand that. Well, as he's talking to me, I think to myself, I want to get to know him too. I'm about to meet this random dude. All I know is that he's a few years older than me. He's 28. I'm 26. Okay. I want to know more about you. How many siblings do you have? Do you have pets? I pretty much asked him everything. And then he somehow like tried to twist that and be like, oh, why are you asking me so many questions? And I'm like, because I want to know who I'm talking to, like, <laughs> before I meet them. Like, it be, something's wrong if you don't have any questions to ask before you meet a totally random man late at night. So, back on subject, I'm thinking to myself, like, really, this is my way of running the F-boy test on you. See if you're going to pass or not. And I was glad that I did it that day because it worked. This just happened yesterday. So we talk more and more, and there was a couple of days throughout the week, including yesterday, that I actually, um, sorry, I just got text message, that I actually didn't go to work, so I didn't go to work yesterday or on Tuesday, and so because he messaged me every day, he knew about this. So, yeah, it was like, okay, I told him that I was at home, and so he didn't say anything about it, he told me he was working, whatever, and so as we're talking more and more, and you know, we started something some borderline flirtatious messages back and forth because of him he asked me oh so what's your purpose because i asked him what was his but he never asked mine he's like you know what was your purpose and you know using tinder like what are you here for and so i told him because like yep f boy question i know he's about to be f boy i know it this is my next red flag same reason you are and so he played it off and then sometimes we're talking further i'm not gonna dox him and put his messages or name out there you know who you are he revealed that he wants to hear about my OnlyFans, my YouTube, my Instagram, etc. And that he also doesn't mind being friends with benefits because, as he says in his own words, and I quote, I'm a man. So it's like, yeah, of course I understand like you're a man. You like sex, etc. But that's not what I'm looking for. So I basically told him, like, uh, like we're not looking for the same thing. And, and I knew that. I knew that's so why I didn't answer the question. Because if you say, oh, I'm just looking for friends, what's going to happen? You're going to rob my dick and say the same thing. You're going to be like, oh, I'm just looking for friends. If I say I'm looking for a boyfriend, you will, oh, I'm looking for a girlfriend. Let's date. You're going to lie to me. I want to know what you really here for. And it worked. So on top of that, what else happened? Maybe I should, like, kind of read the messages. I'll summarize. Let me look back at it so I ain't completely just flat out lying to you all. I'm not going to share all his business because it's not my purpose. He didn't do anything bad or mean to me. But yeah, as he was saying, basically he was on a gaijin hunt, which I don't even care anymore. I actually like gaijin hunters nowadays. I was going to make a video on this topic. I'll make it later on. It depends on what kind you are. If you're the type of gaijin hunter just looking for free English lessons and friends, cool. I'll use you for free Japanese, free help in Japan. Fine. But gaijin hunters trying to date, fuck, and use foreign women, I have a problem with those more so. My feelings have changed a little bit. So... Anyway, yeah, like he says, um, you know, that he, <coughs> as we're talking, he, he randomly tells me that he wants to know why I wanted to meet on Friday and why Friday night. And so I'm like, why are you suddenly questioning this the night before after you just got through starting the conversation today asking me if I was, um, <laughs> and my, my friend just asked me if I was done recording videos, but, and I'm not. But anyway, um, hold on, let me replay.
I don't know, I thought I made a mistake. But anyway, um, back on subject. Yeah, so it's like, okay, why are you, why are you suddenly asking me for this? We were making these plans a while ago, and Japanese people know better than anybody. They do not like changing plans, changing dates. If they decide on something, you're supposed to keep that date, that time, whatever. And I'm like, I specifically told you this almost a week ago now. Why are you asking this suddenly? Like, you're trying to change the plans? And then he lies and makes up some bullshit telling me that he's... I know that he has his own little business, allegedly does his own little thing. Because he told me. <laughs> and then it was like, okay. He tells me that he has a business drinking party to attend at midnight. And wants to know if we can meet on another day. So he was implying that he wanted to meet me yesterday or the next day, but you know, maybe earlier, whatever the case is. And so I'm just thinking to myself, like, okay, how dumb do you really think I am, dude? I've been in Japan for almost six years. It's been five years right now, okay? Don't nobody, not even on New Year's, start no damn drinking party in a midnight? How, how stupid he I feel sorry for girls to be believing these dudes. And then the sad thing is, because see, Japanese men, they're good liars. Asians are good liars. They're bad liars, but good with how they carry out the lie. Their tone of voice, their excuses, they give plenty of background. But their lies, if you listen to them, they're retarded. They make no sense. Tone-wise... Oh, okay, yeah, you're a business owner. Yeah, people do stay out drinking late at night. Oh, okay, well, yeah, that's fine. Let's meet earlier in the day. And so I told him, I was like, you know, that's okay. Like, let's let's meet another time. And then he lost it. He was desperately trying to get me to meet with him at the same time. 7 o'clock. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I'm just saying this. It's at midnight. We have time. It's okay. No, 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 no. You already have a plan. I don't want to interrupt. And he lost his crap on me. And so, I'll make a long story short. Basically, in a nutshell, after going back and forth, he tried to accuse me, as he said in his own words, that I'm playing with a man's heart. And that I'm misleading him. Because, in his mind, I was flirting with him. Sir, even if I were directly flirting with you, which the only flirtatious thing that I did was, I was like, I don't know, what are you looking for? I don't know, same thing as you. All of that was in response to what he asked me to get him to admit I am a wolf in sheep's clothing. I literally sent him a wolf in sheep emoji <laughs> in response to some of the stuff that he said. Because I knew that that's what he was doing. Then you're going to try to flip it on me and make, oh, now I'm the bad person. I'm the bad girl. I'm the F girl. Because I have you figured out. You try to pretend to be a good guy and then be like, wait, I was a good man. You made me a bad one. And it was funny because he had said just uh, you know, a few messages before we got to this point. How he wanted to be careful with his words because he didn't want to end up being a YouTube video. Congratulations, here you are. You landed on YouTube. I'm not going to say your name. I don't do that. No, unless it's necessary. Let me reply to this. <laughs> But it's like, okay, you literally just set it up for me to do that. You misled me. I'm a veteran at this. You saw my YouTube channel. You knew that I was going to make a video on you. So why not just pretend to not be a dog? He ain't go as far as other men do. He didn't explicitly say he wanted to have sex with me, but you basically did. By, by having too much balls, because he has... His own little following and wanted to make it seem like he's okay with having sex with me if that's what I want. It's like, bitch, that's what you want. You want me to ride your dick. You want me to suck on it. Don't play games with me. And that's cool. I can keep it real. I thought you were kind of cute. If you were serious, I probably would have considered dating you seriously. Wouldn't have had a problem with it. Right off the bat, have sex with you. Right off the bat, be lied to, used, misled. That doesn't make me feel good about you. I wasn't even mad and he took it as me being mad it's like no I'm using my brain I realize if you cared and found meeting me even as a friend important you are not going to double book make multiple plans around the same time this business meeting will understand it's Friday night and you might have made plans with someone or something else that's how I know you're lying don't know business start at no fucking midnight
the latest you will meet somebody for a drinking party will be 8 or 9 o'clock. And normally those start right after work at about 7 or 8. Don't no drinking party start at no midnight. There's no holiday this weekend. Don't play with me. I've been in Japan for years. You ain't fooling me, dumbass. But, um, sorry, my, my message I just sent made me laugh. But yeah, it's like, okay. I, I get so mad because, like, man, like, you can't win. I didn't do shit to mislead you. You contacted me. You asked me when I wanted to meet you. I asked you what your intentions were. You lied about your intentions. You agreed to meet me at a certain date and time. And then when I decide, no, I don't want to meet somebody that is making back-to-back plans, bitch, for all I know, you have a date plan with another girl. Probably look better than I do. That you're like, oh, I want to fuck this bitch at 10 o'clock. Damn, if I'm meeting this hoe at 7, how am I going to be able to fuck her? How can I get to Sachiko or Becky at 9? It ain't going to work. Let me see if I can get this bitch to meet me early on. She a freelance model. She could probably change her schedule for me. And you're right, I could. But I ain't changing shit, my nigga. Because you wouldn't do that for me. And I have nothing but bad experience. I know the game. I know the game. I dated all y'all Tottos. Y'all do the same shit. I know it already. And then the funny thing is, the narcissistic gaslighting crap they do. Instead of admitting, yes, I lied to you. I'm sorry for misleading you. You flip it on me. And then it becomes... I misled you. I'm using my magical pussy powers, my pussy, my pussy kryptonite to trick you. I'm flirting with you and then saying, oh no, you can't fuck me. Sorry, sir. But even if I was flirting with you, which I admitted, yeah, you, you were cute. I did like you. You contacted me. I have the right to like you. Me saying that I like you and wanting to be friends with benefits are two completely different things. See, I'm good enough for you to fuck, not good enough for you to make a commitment to. Completely different thing you're asking for. If you're asking to date me and I'm flirting with you and leave you on, then yeah, you're right. That's wrong of me. You ain't trying to date me. You just asked me indirectly to be a fuck buddy with you. And then me nicely declining to meet you after you admit what your true intentions are. I'm now misleading you. I'm playing with your heart. My nigga, you wanted me to play with your dick. Your heart ain't got nothing involved in talking shit. You ain't love me. You don't give two fucks about me. I hate when men do crap like that. Sorry. <laughs> got a message this person. But yeah, oh, that makes me so mad. Because like, it's one thing for you to, I get it, it's tender. It's one thing for you to think, oh, okay, this girl, maybe she'll be willing to hook up on me. The problem is not you wanting a hookup. Let me ask you this at the beginning, because I know some of y'all dumbasses are not going to get to this point. The problem is not casual sex. The problem is not you wanting to hook up. I understand that. The problem is you knew what you wanted, and you ain't say what you wanted, and you tried to manipulate and trick me into doing what you wanted under the pretense of, we're just friends, I just want to pick your brain and hear about why you think my country is so perfect like most nationalistic Japanese people, please pat your pan on the back and tell me how wonderful my country is or for the fun of it, tell me how bad things are, eh really Japanese people aren't perfect, cleaning the nice people in the entire world that's what you gonna do? You been here for that? That comes after. You contacted me because you wanted to sleep with me. And that's cool. Then say it, bitch. Fucking say it. Save us both time. My problem is that you all don't say that. You pretend to want something else. Trick, hurt, and break girls' hearts. That is my issue. And then you have to pass up the notion that um, basically I'm this sexual free spirit whatever and it's like if you spend two seconds watching my channel you would see that there's a complete difference between what you're talking about and what I do having an OnlyFans 
posting thirst traps, doing anything of that nature is not on par, is not the same as fucking random men. Taking a picture wearing a bikini or covering my boobs in my bathtub does not mean that I'm willing to fuck anybody that contacts me. Does not mean I want friends or benefits. Being single does not mean you want to be ran through by the whole damn team. Sorry that we want relationships. You finna empty out your wallet for me? No, you're not. You can even take me out for a meal. That's the part two. I forgot to mention that. This nigga messaged me yesterday and was asking me suddenly if I wanted to go to a restaurant around drinking. And so first I was thinking like, oh, okay, like maybe he is more serious. He asked me about a restaurant. And then tried to leave the ball in his court. And of course he's like, oh, let's go to a cafe. I'm not good at drinking. Why give the option to say that you don't fucking do it? And then I just thought about it. You said you're not. My nigga, why are you going to a drink? I literally just had an aha moment right now. You are going to a drinking party. That's what you said. You're going to a drinking party. Let's play your game. You just told me you don't drink. Why are you going to? Oh, it's for business, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, they would understand why you can't go because you don't drink. You're freelance. You don't have to attend this business meeting, especially on damn midnight. They would understand. You can't even lie straight. Oh. Anyway. I just, I expect these things, but it kind of makes sense. It's like, damn, like, this is what I was saying to you all. But I know this anyway, because he doesn't have a real job. Dude's doing freelance work. Anytime you're talking to it, anytime you're talking to a man that is indirect with you, and instead of telling you what he wants, he asks what you want, he's an F boy. Every single fucking time, don't try to be a unicorn and chance. I promise you. Any man that is serious about you, he will tell you what he wants and what he's looking for. You will not have to guess. If he's asking you, what are you looking for? What do you want? What type of guy? Shut that shit down. If he wants you, he is going to try to show you why you should want what he has to offer. He he ain't trying to compete with the 50 that he has that you done fucked last week. He's trying to figure out how do I get her. I don't care about the other man that got you. I don't care about how many dates you've been on. I don't care about what your normal type is. I don't care what your purpose was. I'm telling you what mine is. And I'm telling you, I want you to be my woman. If he is not telling you, I want to be your boyfriend. I want to get married. Right off the bat, it ain't ever finna happen. And if it does happen, I promise to God he's going to cheat on your ass. See, all the time here, these are young girls get married 20, 21, 22 years old. And you might look at them and think, man, I wish I was her. <laughs> you should see from my side of it, because almost all of my friends are guys. They cheat like crazy on them girls. It don't matter. White, black, Hispanic, other Asian, all of y'all the same. He's married to you. He might come home to you at night. But he fucking everybody else in the neighborhood and embarrassing your ass behind your back. I probably dated your man. Because I've definitely been in that situation before. Where I got tricked to dating a dude that was married. <laughs> so, dudes are crazy. And he had a white girl. She was Italian. Like, you got to be careful with the scrap. So, do whatever you want to do. But before you start feeling envious, people be like, oh, like, I wish I was her, you know? Because I have my moments like that, too. But you have to remind yourself, you don't know what's really going on behind closed doors. She looked like she got herself together. She looked like she's living a dream life. She looked like she got the perfect man. I'd rather have no man who's going to cheat on me and embarrass me. My neighbor seeing you and hearing you fuck other girls inside my bed. You're busy having to work late at night. The day after Valentine's Day or the day before. Yeah, okay. (laughs) And then, let me just get back on subject with this. Like I said, it's not demonizing men for wanting casual sex. Sometimes girls want it too. Shoot, sometimes I want it too. It's a matter of not being up front. And then my other problem is, especially with these Japanese dudes like this guy, trying to make it seem like, well, you're a foreigner. You're willing to show your body. So that means that it's okay for me to use you for sex. So because I'm confident enough that to show my skin, because they're not seeing my nipples or my slit, because let's say that I was showing, let's say I was doing full-on porn, 
because I'm willing to do that as a job. I am now no longer worthy. I cannot have a boyfriend. I cannot have a husband. I cannot have standards. I should be okay with anyone just ripping and running through me and using me and running the train on me. That's what you just said to me. That's exactly what you just said to me. Then they get mad at you. It's like, they act like they cannot understand that concept. Well, you post pictures and videos like this, so why can't I just fuck you? So because I take a picture in a sports bra, because this is before OnlyFans. This is OnlyFans is new. That shit been around for one month as for me. One month for me. This is before that. You see a picture of me in a sports bra or a tight dress or a short dress or something like that. And now suddenly I should be okay with friends of benefits. And now you're mad because if I if I flirt with you, I should have known that you just want to fuck me. And if I choose not to want you to just fuck me and I decide that I don't want somebody who's just going to have sex with me and I want a real relationship, now I'm misleading and I'm the bad guy. My nigga, you swiped right on me. You slid into my DMs. You contacted me. You lied to me about what you're looking for, what you want. Looking good, being confident does not mean I do not want, do not deserve a man. And let's stop with that bullshit. Y'all see used to these little Japanese girls lying to you? Because some of y'all men do, a lot of y'all men do it too. And y'all profiles, oh, I'm new to Tinder, please help me. I don't know what I'm doing. Bullshit like that inside y'all profiles. When the reality is you've been on this site for fucking years. And even if you were new to it, um, Tinder's pretty straightforward. It, it even walks you through it. Left, I don't like. Right, I like. Press big blue star, I really like you. Simple as fuck. Send a message, click on the person's picture. Wow, so hard. <laughs> We've had smartphones for how long now? Bitch has been around for over 10 years. Come on. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just so like irritated because it's like, think what they cannot understand it. And like, it's, that's what I'm saying about Wasachiko lying and pretending like, oh, I don't like sex. Sex is a foreign girl concept. Asian girls don't have sex. We don't know what dick is. We don't suck dick. We don't ride dick. We don't think about dick. You really think that only foreign women are on Tinder? You really think that only foreign women have casual sex? You're an idiot. Why do you think these love hotels stay full? I can count the times that I've seen a foreign couple go into a love hotel with me. It's almost all Sachi Coles and Tato's up inside that bitch. How many mixed race babies are in Japan in comparison to Japanese? How many foreign babies are here? Y'all fucking like rabbits, not us. <laughs> Y'all got birth control and condoms keeping your, you know, your birth rate going up. Y'all being smarter about that crap. And y'all busy working y'all asses off, but y'all fuck just as much as anybody else. Y'all not having less sex. Prostitution practically legal here. <laughs> you can see girls selling themselves on literally every street corner. Don't call it that though. Every street, just, you know, they can stay under that umbrella or whatever. They're not going to call it prostitution. Those little brothels and whatnot. Your little soap land area. What do them girls really do? What do hosts really do? They're not supposed to do these things. But what really goes on? Yakuza are running that crap. Police don't care. They're involved in getting paid off too. Let me stop before I come up missing. <laughs> Telling all y'all business. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. It makes me so angry because like that's always I made a whole video on this before but that's always used as an excuse because your pictures because you're foreigner because this app I thought it was okay to disrespect you whatever you can ask somebody to casually have sex with you without lying to them you can also ask without coming off as a dog too what same person is going to reply to first match says sex can I fuck you can I stick my dick down your throat? Would you reply to a girl that sent you a message saying, can you give me $600 for 30 minutes? Can you buy me a Chanel bag? Can you buy me some Louis Vuitton makeup? You going to reply to that message? Are you going to say yes to that? That's how stupid you sound when you message women saying that crap. And any girl that replies to that saying yes, Tata, either she's ugly, fat, desperate as fuck, 
Or, bitch probably trying to trap you with a baby. Or got some STDs going on. Because don't know no person say crap like that. You should be worried about a girl that's so quick to sleep with you like that. That's scary. So... <laughs> Be up front. Don't be a pussy. You trying to use me for sex? Then fucking say it then. And then don't try to don't try to switch it on me and make me seem like the bad person. I don't care if I did mislead and flirt with you. I didn't lie to you. See, if I wanted to mislead and you know, really flirt with you, you know what I should have done? Should have done? I should go and meet you. You might not buy me my steak dinner, but okay. Let you buy me some drinks. Talk to you for a while. Waste your time. Get your dick hard. Whisper in your ear and shit. And then decide, oh. Yeah, I don't really feel like having sex. Sorry. Now who mislay? I flirted with you. I teased you. I let you buy me drinks. I wasted your time. As soon as I found out, after personally digging through and trying to figure out what you're all about myself, because see, had I not asked those questions, I wouldn't have known. I would have been in for a surprise on Friday night, which is now today. Thanks to me doing my investigative work, I found out the truth before we met. The moment you told me you had a midnight drinking party, the moment that you expressed indirectly that you wanted to meet me earlier, That your other plan was more important, basically. I did you the favor. I removed myself. I no longer want to meet you anymore. Because I know you're an F-boy. You're not a man of your word. Don't get mad at me for having your game figured out. You ain't never had a girl say that to you before, have you? Used to foreign girls fall all over you and be like, Oh my God, he's so cute. I've been here for years. You an average looking Japanese dude. My standards are low because I'm not Asian. To me, you're kind of cute. It's true. I ain't got a line cap. But you know damn well it ain't gonna work with Sachiko. She know your game. You can't do that with me. <laughs> it don't work with me. You saw my channel. You should have watched them damn videos. So just looking through the titles and sc you know, scrolling through the video. Watch a whole video. I got your shit figured the fuck out. You cannot play me. Don't try to play me. I will win. I will beat you at your own game. I know how to think like a man. I have a pussy, but I have a brain like you do. I know what you want and what you're after. Stop using the excuse of women liking sex or me seeming like, oh, I'm in this free spirit. Say, yep, I, I fucking am. And guess what? I still got standards. I still want real love. I still want a real relationship. And if you're not offered to me, that's fine. Then it just means you don't get to fuck me. You don't get to experience fat mom. Don't worry about my pussy then. Don't get mad about what you can't have. Don't get mad at me for knowing that you're trying to trick me. You're mad at me because you tried to scam me. And I knew you were trying to scam me. I wasn't a dumb bitch. And then you flip it back on me. I misled you. I'm the bad person. Hmm. Interesting. As I said to you, my little DMs, there are thousands, millions of women that would love to have casual sex with you. I ain't one of them. Too bad for you. If you were smart, you would have played your cards right. Take me out for dinner. Pretend like you really want to get to know me. Maybe you can use on the next girl. It'll work. Pretend like you really want to get to know me. Talk to me nicely. Buy me a little gift. Take me on a few dates. My panties will literally dissolve. You can't even buy me food. <laughs> you, you think... You think you're going to fuck me? My nigga. I charge money for people to look at my fucking holograph on their screen. You think you're going to meet me in person and fuck me? With your little wee wee? Really? You, you think you finna get all the way there? Oh, you really are confused. If I'm charging money for people to see a thirst trap of me. You are not even going to buy me a fucking meal. What is in it for me? I don't get a gift. I don't get food. I don't get a ride in a car. I don't get to come. I don't get a relationship. I get coffee at 8 o'clock at night. I can buy myself coffee, my nigga. I don't need that shit. <laughs>
So, yeah, I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I'll keep it real with you. You ain't ugly. You, you kind of cute. But that ain't enough. <laughs> I got people that look way better than you in my DMs. I've dated people that look better than you. I've fucked people that look better than you. And you want to know what it still wasn't enough for them, too? <laughs> you can fool me once. It's happened. I try to be optimistic with you and think this is, you know, a business opportunity. You know, I can do a video together. This will be fun. Make a good friend. Have someone to help me in Japan. You know, speaks English and Japanese fluently. But nope. Too good to be true. I knew it. I tried to tell myself, oh, it could be a negative Nancy. Be optimistic. But nope, I was right. I should have never doubted what your intentions were, who you really were. You were a snake all along. And again, don't get me wrong, ladies and gents. This is not a matter of demonizing people for wanting casual sex. And I will be honest, it's not good. It's not good for your body. It's not good for your brain. Do I do? You know, what the fuck I do? I'm not going to lie to y'all. Is it good to do? No. And I'm selective with who I choose. I don't like being lied to. Be honest from the start. Don't lie to me. And then if you're going to lie, at least apologize and admit, yeah, I should have said whatever. This was my real intention. So, <laughs> I know y'all are going to have y'all mixed opinions. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If we going to argue, I'm, I'm standing my ground. Like I said, my mind will not be changed. I mean, I'll listen to what you have to say. I'll try to hear you out. Maybe it can be. Maybe it can. We'll see. We'll see. But I feel like I'm completely in the right. I did not swipe right on you, at least to start with. You liked me. And even if I liked you first, which I did not, because I always just go through, I have a paid membership. I just go through and I swipe right on all y'all hoes. And the reason being is, you're right, my reason for Tinder, in case you're wondering, nowadays, it is for the purpose of, one, getting people OnlyFans. Two, if they don't go to OnlyFans, fine. There's a possibility of following me on Twitter or Instagram or even TikTok. And it works. Sometimes I find somebody to hang out with. Sometimes I do end up dating a person from there. It's worth it. Mostly, it is for the purpose of making friends, getting fans. Yep, you're right. That was my reason why. But you know what I don't do? I don't lie to people to get them to raise their body count, get their feelings involved with me, just to say, I was just after your wallet all along. That's what you tried to just do with me. You tried to get me to meet you on the pretense of being friends and talking about good old YouTube and OnlyFans or whatever. When really, your goal was, I want to sleep with you. So, that's cool to do it with another girl. And I wouldn't have even been mad. My, the part that made me mad was, that made me make this video, wasn't the fact that you lied and misled me. It was the fact that you got mad at me figuring you out. How you mad at me for figuring you out? <laughs> that made you upset with me. I should be the one mad. You, you reserve a time, make plans with me for a certain day and time. And then you try to change the date, or at least change the time. Or rush the time, because now you have a new plan for later. That's insulting. Wow, and that's the reason why I said that I don't like dating dudes that have other plans for the day. Like, that's why I always ask, how long do you have? If you plan to meet me and you tell me, oh, let's meet on Saturday at 2 o'clock. And I say, oh, like, how long can you stay? And you're like, well, I have to go by 5 or 6 or whatever. You might think, that means he has a lot of time with me. No, 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 no. What my brain reads is, who are you meeting at 5 or 6 o'clock? What are you and Sachiko doing? Oh, you have another date. And that's cool. You have the freedom to date other people. But it shouldn't be planned on the same date if you're serious with me. It sounds like a really picky, crazy bitch move. But trust me, I've dated tons of men. I've learned and figured it out. You want a serious relationship? If he really wants you, he's trying to make it work with you and not 50 other girls. He should not have a date plan back to back like that. Like a bitch does. We do because we have to. You're doing it because you're trying to get pussy. And that's cool. You ain't finna get mine. I'll, I'll make the decision easy for you. I will back out and withdraw from your game. And what happens? They get mad at you. Just like how this dude did. You're mad at me because I have your game figured out. And I decided I will not be a player. I'm not going to be a pawn in your little game. And now I'm the bitch. I'm the bad guy. I'm misleading you. <laughs> so I'm done. Anyway. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Let's argue. Let's talk about this. Men, you're welcome to chime in too. Tell me what you think. Do you think that I'm in the wrong? Did I mislead him? So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'll think about whether or not, of course, I'll blur everything out, but I'll think about maybe sharing this on Patreon. Because, yeah, I actually talked about this on Patreon. I talked about, 
my patrons probably won't get that video till later on a month or two from now but i talked about it there i was excited about if you're watching this video guy i'm talking about i was excited about meeting you oh, this video excited about meeting you you were i thought you were cute i don't care about what these asian girls think i thought you were cute you seem like a nice guy and i thought it was cool you had a little youtube channel but then it's like dang you gotta be an f boy just be honest from the start and yeah you're right by being honest i wouldn't have met you wouldn't have whatever but i feel more hurt i'm not even angry i feel more hurt that i wasted my time talking to you for a whole week when you were just like everybody else f boy f boy with a youtube channel this time and then the fact that you tried to twist it on me and make it seem like i hurt your feelings and i broke your heart because i said that i didn't want to just sleep with you with no commitment <laughs> what and that's the crazy thing too i say i keep adding on more and more to this video People, Japanese guys in particular, act like if you don't want to sleep with them, their brains can't comprehend. It's like, but you post these pictures, sir. That does not mean I want to have sex with anything that breathes and has a penis. I still have standards. I probably do want to have sex with you, but I might also want a commitment with that. Did that ever cross your mind? Imagine this, the job you work for. Your employer might say, but I, I thought you wanted to work. Yeah, I wanted a salary for that work that I do for you. I wanted compensation, okay? I want compensation. Yes, I would like to fuck you. <laughs> but I want compensation. I want a commitment, okay? I want stability. You don't work for your job because you want to work. You want money. You maybe want the money that job gives you. The prestige the title comes with. But you want the salary. If they're not giving you the salary too, you out, Okay. Same thing for me. I love dick. What girl doesn't? Girls that don't like dick never had good dick. Your dick just small and it's weak. If you got bitches around you saying, I don't like sex. Your ex didn't like sex. Your dick was weak. Simple as that. You ain't got good dick damn. <laughs> Get dick damn. Dick game. Your penis is whack. It's facts. Don't get mad at me. Don't hate the player. Hit the game. So, hate what your mama and daddy gave you. <laughs> your mama fake moaning at night. That's how you got here. That's another story. So, that's it. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a like. Leave me a comment if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Comic95. You can also add me on Snapchat at Comic the Savior. And follow me on TikTok at Comic the Savior. I have a Facebook fan page at Comic95 the Savior. And I also have my OnlyFans at Comic95. Um, my blog at Comic95.com. The links for everything are down in the description box. And you can also look at the end of this video. They're all there too. So yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, rants, journals, whatever. Um, please go to my YouTube channel homepage. I have a playlist for all of these videos. And on top of that, you can also consider becoming a patron. It's only five US dollars per month. I started glitching out a bit too much to the point where you couldn't even hear what I was saying anymore. So anyway, you know the usual. Follow me on my social media at Comic95. Um, the links for everything are down in the description box. And consider becoming a patron. I talk about my personal life. I give more details about my dating and work life there. So if you would like to learn more about me, you enjoy my journals, please consider supporting me there. It really helps my channel, encourages me to make more videos. I have to make a living doing this. So yeah, if you want to be nosy, have more things to laugh at, more unfiltered, raw, what's going on in my life information, please sign up for a Patreon. It's $5 per month, but you'll get access to over 100 videos that have already been published there. So as always, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and I hope you watch another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.